Welcome, in this video I will show you how you can set up fretboard music bot on your server. Now first you will need to go into the fretboard website, then you can click on invite to server. This will redirect you to a discord page, here you can select the server where you would like to invite the fretboard to, and then you can click on continue. Here you can see all the permissions that you will be giving to the bot, and if you are fine with that you can click on authorize. Then you will need to confirm that you are a human. Then you will be redirected to the dashboard. Here you can select the server um, that you would like to configure the bot in. And here you can see it asks you to go into a Discord voice channel. So if you go into a Discord voice channel and if you go back to our website now, you can see this looks differently. Here you can play a surprise game that is just a little fun thing they included on their website. And on the right you have the search menu and also the queue. So if you go to the general channel, we can search for so we can search for songs, or you can also do that here. Now, in this case, I will want to do it in the Discord server, so I'll type in uh, slash play. Then you will select this, and here you can either insert a link or a query. So, for example, if I want to select SpongeBob background music, and I will click enter. You can see there are a few things and you can also see the video length of each in here. Now I will select number 4 so I will click on that. And you can see the bot has just joined and is starting to play the music. I will mute him real quick because I don't want to listen to that right now. And then if I go back to the website you can also see if we go to the queue you can also see that the song is being played here you can also change the songs in that queue so for example you could take one song that is queued um, as, a, as the seventh song and you can uh, place it as the second one so it will be played right after this and here you can also remove it so for example we move track and you can see fretboat is not playing anything anymore even though i have uh, unmuted him so he's not playing anything, you can see the song was skipped. Then there are also really cool commands, for example if you type in slash play, you can see there is slash play roblox, so you can provide a play link for roblox. You can also display the server's saved playlists, so you can create playlists for each server. And then you can also list the tracks from the specified playlist, for example you could specify the server's saved playlist. And then you can see all of these songs that are in these. But you can also create a new playlist. So if you want to create one, we can name this playlist one, for example. And here you can see a playlist has been created. So now if you start to play songs, these will be added to the playlist. And then you can also delete a playlist. So if you type in slash play, you can see slash playlist manage delete. Now, if you type in the name of that playlist, for example, playlist one, you can see the playlist that we have just created has been deleted. And so you can also create playlists for your Discord server. That way you don't have to queue the songs up each time. Now you can also uh, play songs through the web dashboard. So you see you have a few options here. Unfortunately, YouTube is not an option anymore because YouTube has discontinued the API um, for the Discord bots. So unfortunately that does not work with Fredboat. But we can use SoundCloud for example. So I can also type in a URL. So I've just copied a link of a song. If I now paste it in and I'll click on the plus icon, you can see it is being played in the Discord server by Fredboat. And then you can also stop the player. So you can see you can stop it and remove all of the songs that are in the queue. And then you can see the queue is empty again and Fredboat does not play any songs anymore. Then you can either disconnect him from the chat or he will leave after some time or after all of the people that are in the voice chat also leave. So that is pretty much how you can set up Fredboat in your Discord server. Now if this video was helpful make sure to like the video and thank you for watching.